Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. So there's been so many things going on over the last, I don't know, several days. So much. I I didn't want to put all of it in one video, but I did want to kind of like group it. So I wanted to start with Jill Scott and Tiffany Haddish. And by the way, I hope you guys are all doing well. So we all are familiar with Jill Scott, whether you listen to her music or not. You are probably familiar with her, Miss Jilly from Philly. And um, she's also an actress. I just think that Jill Scott is beautiful. She's unproblematic. And I do enjoy listening to her music, right? It's just mellow. It's just smooth, you know. She ain't always involved in no mess and no drama and all this other stuff. I think the most controversial thing she's ever done is the microphone thing, right? Anyway, um, this guy, he is a former NFL, XFL linebacker. His name is Kyle Kiero. He decided to get on the internet the other day and ask a question that got him dragged, and rightly so. He asked, people are attracted to Jill Scott? I mean, and he was just really thinking that he was, I, I truly believe he was trying to be funny. And then he said, but what? Well, and by no means is she ugly, but y'all really sexually aroused by her, huh? And I couldn't believe that this Dan, that still got 16 likes. And then he couldn't, when people started dragging him, he was like, oh, so it's an energy thing. Got it. Cause he couldn't imagine for the life of him that anybody could find her attractive. Then when he was getting dragged, he said, I tried to explain my tweet after realizing how poorly it was worded and conveyed. I didn't grow up on Jill Scott, so it was news to me that she was a sex symbol and I just tweeted stupidly. It was best to just delete it and take my L. I've also seen people equating my tweet to both fat shaming and a hatred of black women. With how prevalent that is, I can understand why people may feel that way, but that is not the case here. And so he continued to get dragged. Now, the funny thing about this, it, it's not much laughter here for me, but funny, what's funny about this whole thing is that nobody had to Google Jill Scott to figure out who she was, but people had to Google him. We're like, who are you and where did you come from? Turns out he played ball for Northwestern. I Googled him and we, Wikipedia says that he was on the practice team for the Dallas Cowboys and got cut from that. And that he went over to the Seattle Dragons, which is XFL. But uh, I think they just went bankrupt, right? So as, as far as the internet is concerned, they don't even know who he is. And none of us know who he is. And we had to Google him. But everybody knows who Jill Scott is. And um, like I said, he got dragged and rightly so for just the disrespect that he showed. It was absolutely disrespectful. And I um, I captured some tweets of some people that were coming back at him like, what is wrong with you? Who, who, who the hell are you? And who are you to, you know, police somebody attractiveness? Now, here's my thing about what he said. I did not have, I don't have a problem with him not finding her attractive. That is not a problem for me. My problem with him is that he was shocked that other people possibly could find her attractive. Like he was like, oh, so it's an energy thing. Like people are attracted to her. Like that could not be possible. It is not possible for anyone to find a black, a fat black woman attractive. Like that's just impossible. And so if they do, they must have to vibe with her on a whole nother level. It can't be her body. It can't be that you are, a, she's aesthetically pleasing to you. She, you just must just really vibe with her personality. And that was that bullshit. That was that once again, unprovoked attack on a woman that was not bothering you, a black woman that was not bothering you. Even Kay Michelle got into it. Okay. I hate dead brain. I hate dead brain jocks. Yes. I, I think she meant brain dead. That's why I was like stuttering over it. Anyway, Jill responded and said, wait, I'm trending again. And then she just said justice for Breonna Taylor and other women who were killed. Uh, and uh, she also thanked people for all the love 
that they were because she was trending and people were just showing all these beautiful pictures of her and just showing her love. I love that. So when he realized that he did not have an army behind him, he decided to apologize. First and foremost, I would like to apologize to Miss Jill Scott. The topic of your beauty should not have been shared over social media for public discourse. There's truly no excuses or explanations to be made. My comments were distasteful and unbecoming of a black man to speak negatively of, of a black woman under any circumstance. Secondly, I would like to apologize to all those who were also offended by my post. I am aware of the layers of hurt I peel back with my words. I had no intention to make people feel less than, but that's simply not good enough. Intention doesn't equate to impact. I'm aware of how much more important one's impact is than their intention. Knowing this, I'm still offended a large number of, I still offended a large number of people, and for that I am deeply sorry. I will strive to do better and will utilize what platform I have, barely any to promote positivity and empowerment within our community, particularly for black women. Miss Jill Scott just did this so gracefully by taking my foolishness as an opportunity to shed more light on the injustices against Breonna Taylor. And I hope to only follow in her footsteps. So as I said, I don't have a problem with him not finding her attractive. I have a problem for him attacking a black woman unprovoked. She said nothing to you. She wasn't on your, she, she wasn't, even thinking about you she don't know you and here we go once again with an attack on a black woman and again and, and and then he tried to clean it up and say well you know I didn't grow up on her as if you have to grow up on somebody to find them attractive like he was just kind of you know moon trying to moonwalk it back but he just kept stepping in it and it's just like dude stop dude seriously stop just because she is not shaped like the doctor made her does not mean that she can't be attractive. And to, to you know, reduce it to, oh, you, you must be attracted to her because of her personality. Oh, it's an it's a energy thing. Was even more offensive. Like he couldn't even take the L immediately when people started dragging him. He couldn't. So I saw this tweet from Deshaun, which I thought was interesting. He usually is with the King of Reeds. He said, I love that everyone reached deep down in their social justice bag again yesterday to defend Jill Scott against fat phobia. And also I wonder if that tweet had mentioned, say, Gabby Sidibe, the endless tweets about how attractive she is would also have happened. Now, I've seen Deshaun before with uh, King of Reeds and on In the Middle. I kind of like him. And I, I wanted to include this because I thought that it was important. I thought that this was an important <clears throat> question, but I also took a little issue to it as well. There's a couple of things here. Two things can be true. I think he's absolutely correct in pointing out that while Jill Scott got, she was defended, would people have defended Gabby Sidibe in the same way? Because she's also a, a, a fat black woman. But people consider Jill Scott, a, a, she, they, they consider her sexy. But maybe there aren't people that consider Gabby Sidibe sexy. And the reason why I thought, well, although I thought that his tweet really was on the nose for good reasons, I also thought it was problematic simply because he used Gabby Sidibe almost to point out that we know she's not attractive. And that I just, it just kind of, I felt the type of way about that. Like we didn't, I didn't want, I didn't want Gabby Sidibe to be dragged into it to point out that, well, obviously she's not attractive and people certainly wouldn't have like uh, defended her. Although I believe he is correct. I believe that people wouldn't have gone out of their way to defend Gabby Sidibe. If he tweeted that same tweet about Gabby Sidibe, I think there would have been a lot more likes and a lot more laughter behind it. I, I So, so I, I hope you understand what I'm saying here. While I agree with what he's saying, I also felt like I hated that he had to pull her into it because it almost points out, it, it, it almost points out that you think she's not attractive. Right. Like you're pointing out that you think she's not like, why would you pick her of all fat black women? Why would you pick her? 
But, you know, like I said, I don't want to get muddled in that because I understand why he did it. I absolutely understand why he did it. Okay, so um, I, I think it's a valid question. I absolutely think it's a valid question. Um, Jill Scott is a certain kind of uh, BBW, like this sexy BBW. But I don't necessarily know that uh, people would have went up for a Gabby Sidibe. And I think that's what Deshaun was basically saying, even though, like I said, I just kind of felt the type of way that he, that she, her name was invoked, simply because it almost points out that people look at Jill Scott as an attractive BBW, but Gabby Sidibe, no, no. And I just hated that she was put on the spot. But all in all, I'm glad that this dude got dragged. I do. I am glad that he got dragged from whence he came. And I bet he'll never do it again because I, again, I'm so sick and tired of black women being attacked unprovoked. Like just, just out of nowhere, just making the decision, I am going to come after uh jill scott she ain't said nothing to me she ain't did nothing to me how can y'all possibly possibly think that she is attractive like really i mean that was like what i cannot believe that this man has opened his mouth for that now next up is tiffany haddish tiffany haddish you know uh as you know she's an actress she's a comedian and about what it's been about a week or so ago she decided that she wanted to get rid of her hair and she decided to cut her hair off and people lost their minds about it all right now tiffany tiffany haddish has been problematic sometimes but nonetheless she just seems like an overwhelmingly happy person right i don't always like some of the moves that she makes and some of the the the, the tap dancing that she does but at the end of the day it was just hair and people really hated the fact that she decided to cut her hair off. And I, I, I'm not certain as to why, but anyway, I want to go ahead and show you guys, uh, this video of Tiffany Haddish talking about her hair. Now when she did cut off her hair, it did look a little crazy, but I want to go ahead and show I'm you. I'm not in a complete process right now. I'm in the midst of getting all, I'm gonna all this off, okay? I'm gonna cut all of it off. Niggas is like, somebody go check on sis, something wrong with her, what's wrong with her mentally? She done lost it. Why when a woman decides, hey, I'm gonna cut this hair off because I wanna see my scalp, she gotta have a mental problem. Nothing is wrong with my brain, you guys. I'm not suffering from a, no emotional shit, nothing. I literally been talking about this for years, how I want to see my scalp. I know every single part of my body. I know where every single mole is. Anybody that's ever done my hair has heard me say it. What up, Oscar? Hey, boo. Anybody that knows me knows me, knows I've been talking about this for a long time, okay? Now, uh, Precious went to go get some clippers so she can even it out. But um, And then when I get back to L.A., I'm getting it all cut because I want to see my moles. Okay. I have, I've been counting. I have almost 100 moles all over. No, because it doesn't fucking match because this shit is not wait, real back there. I cut this finish. side too short. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. <laughs> this is nice. Hey, me when Demi Moore cut her hair when she's doing GI Jane. She did. I'm going to need you to have I your... look pretty. You do, but we get these eyebrows arched and... and I like my eyebrows with, with the lashes. I like them. Oh, that would be like pretty, too. No, it's my but Lashes. <laughs> Now, what I mean, when I say it looked a little crazy, it was just the how, the way she was cutting it out. And she it did look like she had these big chunks out of it and stuff like that. And and a part of me just like, I wish that she would have had a professional cut out the locks, the faux locks. But anyway, look how happy she looks. Look how absolutely happy and free she looks. And I hate that people automatically assume that she was having a mental breakdown because she wanted to cut off her hair. Like, why does she have to have a mental breakdown in order to want to cut off her hair? It's just hair. It'll grow back. It'll grow back. And um, I, I feel like, why did people come at her when other women have also cut off their hair? But people were automatically assuming that Tiffany Haddish had to be crazy. She, she obviously had to be insane to even consider cutting off her hair and it's like come on y'all so many women have cut their hair and it didn't have to be 
because they were sick. It didn't have to be because they were having a mental breakdown. Maybe they just wanted to start over. Maybe they just wanted to have a shortcut. People did not kill Sanaya Lathan. My friend, Sean, one of my subbies on him, my friend, I saw this on her. I, I, I saw a, a post on his Instagram and I wanted to, I'm so glad he pointed it out because they, he said like people did not come after Sanaya Lathan when she cut her hair off, but Tiffany decides to cut the hair off and now she's mentally ill. And I just wanted to, uh, these are uh, pictures courtesy of the shade room. I want to just show you guys some pictures of women who have cut their hair off, beautiful black women who have also shaved their heads and, and whether it, I don't even want to say start it over because starting over implies that they just want to cut it off to start their hair. growing. Maybe they just want to, some people just wanted to just have a short cut and that was fine. So Nia Lathan wasn't the only one that did it, but when she did it, you know, although people questioned it, they didn't call her crazy. I didn't see people like going out of their way to say that she was mentally ill, that she was insane and all this other stuff, which I just found offensive uh, <clears throat> for Tiffany. Like I said, uh, Tiffany had hasn't always like done things in my opinion that uh, were becoming of a black woman. And I sometimes I hated how she has acted around all those white folks and, and tap dancing and doing stuff like carrying chicken in a purse, you know, stuff like that. that I just, that just kind of made me cringe. But at the end of the day, we have no right to police her hair as well as anyone else's. And it, she is, it does not make her crazy. It does not mean she's going insane or losing her mind because she wanted to cut her hair. That's offensive. That's absolutely offensive. So I, um, I congratulate her. I'm glad that she she got a professional up in there to, to to make it look right because you know when she did cut it off I'm like this girl got plugs all up through her head okay it it looked it looked a whole mess but because she didn't know what she was doing she just wanted to get rid of it and she got rid of it you sometimes you don't realize how freeing it is when you cut it off you know I I had long hair <clears throat> at one point in time and I I recently cut my hair off maybe about mm, a year ago and it felt so freeing. It felt so free to just get rid of it, just to get it off of my neck. I just love that. You know, now I can't say that I'll ever go as low as some of the other ladies. I can't say that's just not for me. That's not the cut that I would go for, but it's just hair. It'll grow back. And that's what I, when I made the decision to cut my hair short, I was like, it'll grow back. It always does. It's just hair and let these women live their lives. And like I said, the, the look on her face of how happy she is was enough for me. It was absolutely enough for me. So you go ahead, girl. You look good to me. She does. She looks good to me. Okay. I don't care what nobody say. Anyway, as I close up this uh, video, I just want to send a shout out um, to Tavia. I hope I didn't mispronounce your name. Uh, Tavia, the writer, she uh, blessed my channel with the cash app. And um, I just want to, you know, thank you guys for supporting my channel Here's the thing. If you see an ad come up, if you see that I have advertisement, that's honestly the best way to support it. And just by watching it, because that's how the channel earns revenue through ads. All right. But like I said, here's my information. That's my email. That's my Twitter. And that's my cash app. And I always, you know, so, so grateful when you guys support me. Like I said, just by watching what I do, just, you know, by um, just following me on um twitter or however you want to support you can email me however you want to do it i appreciate your support nonetheless so i'm trying to uh come up with another video to talk about naya rivera and some other things that's been going on in the news and i'm going to hopefully come back today with another video 